Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I've received the alternator and I'm gonna fit it on the car. So I need to remove this cover air filter box and probably some of these plastics here. So to have more space I'm gonna have to remove the windscreen wipers. Remove these caps. So remove the caps, use a 13 mil socket. So use the 13 mil socket to remove the nut and then lift this. Try to wiggle it a bit. And it will, uh, until it loosens itself. Yeah, so it's hard to do it with just one hand, but uh, you got the idea. So after you remove the, the windscreen wipers, you remove this rubber thing in here. The, then try to pull this out. Yeah, so just I just put that out of the way. Pull this out. There's something in here, yeah? But this is rubber, so it will just slide out easily do the same here have this here so you have to be careful with after you've done that you just need to remove these two screws here and two here one and the other one and then we can move forward so once that's out of the way you'll have more space in here we will need to remove this as well uh, and the air filter box Once the air box is out of the way, you can see here, you can see some red powder, red powder in the alternator that comes from grinding, grinding. Uh, and I search for the part number on this drive belt, it's one without AC, but I can definite, definitely see the the AC compressor here you can see the pulley so that's being bypassed and I wonder why maybe there's something wrong with the pulley and it makes like a grinding noise anyways uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to replace the alternator today so uh, You need to to release the belt tension, which is done from here. To be able to remove the alternator, I'll use E18. There's a bolt here. And there are two bolts on this side. You don't you only need to remove one of them and loosen the other. After about one hour I think of work I've been able to pull this out look what it had inside and check this of course this won't work but the thing is 
this one is Bosch and this one is Denso this is the second alternator I've bought which looks in good state pulley looks alright quite clean and it has two these two wires here I'm gonna try to pull out the other wires there because they were already broken and I'm gonna cut the connector on the other side and solder those wires to these ones what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna put the alternator drop it down there carefully and once it's in the in the place I will put the screws back the alternator is back in place now I'm gonna put the fuel lines back put the fuel filter back to its place and then fit the belt here I have a brand new belt from Euro car parts is the one that comes for cars with AC mine had the shorter one but I I can see the compressor down there hopefully there's no problem with that I've tried to spin it and it was grinding a bit but we will see in case there's something wrong with it uh, I will either replace the pulley or just buy another belt without AC so I've put the belt but uh, I've noticed there's something else wrong and the belt doesn't have any tension I checked the drawing and I realized that there is a missing pulley there should be another pulley and maybe that's why they didn't they didn't put the the AC version belt I don't know what happened to that pulley and why it's not there anyways I will see how much does that cost and if it's too much I guess I'll just return this belt and get the one without AC so this is the hopefully is the right one because I told them I don't need this one with the uh, ribs on it so yeah this is the pulley that's missing and I'm gonna fit it now and then try to start the car So that's the pulley I needed. Now the belt is tensioned. What I need to do is to put the airbox back and then see if it starts. The battery is dead, so I'm gonna jump start it. This is all for this episode, if it helped you don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell and if you wanna see more videos follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Ta -la!